Fatherhood is imperative. Hey y'all, yesterday we discussed how Father's Day came about as a national holiday. Today let's talk about the importance of fatherhood to our children, to our families, to our nation, and to God Almighty. This talk will probably step on some of our toes and definitely be countercultural and politically incorrect, which is okay because as indicated in 1 Peter 2 verse 9, as Christians, we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. Now, why is that? Because we have been called out of darkness into His marvelous light. Please also know that I'm not here to cast judgment upon a situation you currently find yourself in caused by events of your past or not within your control. I say these things because I love people and I want God's blessing upon them. God's blessing upon you. Hey, Attorney Greg Niblock here. You know me as the Reset Button Lawyer. Hitting the reset button on folks' bills and credit through bankruptcy and on the insurance company if injured or, Lord forbid, killed in an accident or on the government for Social Security Disability or tax resolution with the IRS. You know, the devil is the father of all lies and his chief lie is human beings should serve themselves, not God. We should put ourselves first and replace God with self-worship. A destructive branch of this chief lie is men are no more than animals and should have sex with any woman they want. And if a child is conceived, so what? This produces children out of wedlock if they escape the abortion mill and the problem in America is epidemic. Even when a child is born to a husband and a wife, the chief lie still raises its ugly head by the father not first deeply loving and obeying God's commands. Second, not deeply loving and cherishing his wife and mother of his children as Christ loved the church. And third, not deeply loving his children by providing instruction, protection, discipline, wisdom, and male spiritual leadership that only a father, which is a man, can provide. This provides children the necessary elements of growing up and maturing into a well-balanced Christian man or woman, i.e., a person who loves and respects God and becomes a godly mother and a godly father. Nothing more is more important than this. We see the results of the devil's lie and father's lack of courage in following God's law right here in the United States of America with approximately 24 million fatherless children resulting from birth out of wedlock and from divorce. Objective data clearly shows that children from fatherless homes are more likely to be poor, become involved in drugs and alcohol abuse, drop out of school, and suffer from health and emotional problems. Boys are even more likely to become involved in crime and be more violent and girls are more likely to become pregnant as teens. Anaya Nin, an American essayist, novelist, and short story writer said something kind of interesting to me. She stated, the human father has to be confronted and recognized as a human, as a man who created a child and then by his absence left the child fatherless and then godless. Think about that. You know, the building blocks of any society is the family unit, and a successful family requires a father to do his part. Good fathers result in right-doing males and better outcomes for children. However, the primary consequences of fatherlessness are rising male violence and declining child well-being. We see it every day. For me, one of the most inspiring movies on fatherhood is Courageous, released back in 2011, directed by Alex Kendrick. If you haven't seen the movie, you really should. And even if you have, you should go back and watch it again just for the inspiration. After going through all 
his family's tragedy, calling upon God, going through introspections and discoveries, the main character of this film finds himself before his church congregation delivering this message that is so desperately needed to be heeded by all fathers in our great country and the world. And this is how it went. I now believe that God desires every father to courageously step up and do whatever it takes to be involved in the lives of their children. But more than just being there providing for them, he is to walk with them through their young lives and be a visual representation of the character of God, their Father in heaven. A father should love his children and seek to win their hearts. He should protect them, discipline them, and teach them about God Almighty. He should model how to walk with integrity and treat others with respect and should call out his children to become responsible men and women who live their lives for things that matter eternally. Some men will hear this and mock it, or some will just ignore it. But I tell you that as a father, you are accountable to God for the position of influence he has given you. You can't fall asleep at the wheel, only to wake up one day and realize that your job or your hobbies have no eternal value, but the souls of your children do. Some men will hear this and agree, but have no resolve to live it out. Instead, they will live for themselves and waste the opportunity to leave a godly legacy for the next generation. But there are some men who, regardless of the mistakes they've made or we've made in the past, regardless of what our fathers did not do for us, will give the strength of our arms and the rest of our days loving God with all that we are and to teach our children to do the same. And whenever possible to love and mentor others who have no father in their lives, but who desperately need help and direction. And we are inviting any man whose heart is willing and courageous to join us in this resolution. In my home, the decision has already been made. You don't have to ask who will guide my family because by God's grace, I will. You don't have to ask who will teach my son or daughter to follow Christ because I will. Who will accept the responsibility of providing and protecting my family? I will. Who will ask God to break the chain of destructive patterns in my family's history? I will. Who will pray for and bless my children to boldly pursue whatever God calls them to do? I am their father and I will. I accept this responsibility and it is my privilege to embrace it. I want the favor of God and his blessing on my home. Any good man does. So where are you, men of courage? Where are you, fathers who fear the Lord? It's time to rise up and answer the call that God has given to you and say, I will, I will, I will. Wow, how inspiring, how convicting, and, and how challenging. If you're a father, are you being a visual representation of the character of God the Father? Or have you fallen asleep at the wheel? If you've fallen asleep, are you willing to break the chains of your destructive behavior to become the man of courage God expects you to be and your children and family needs you to be? Your children, your family, your wife, and our nation needs men of courage to fulfill their God-given role as fathers to their children. I hope you've been challenged and encouraged by this video. Remember, at Niblock & Associates, we stand ready to help you regarding bankruptcy, personal injury, wrongful death, or social security disability, or IRS tax resolution. So if we can ever be of help, just give us a call or go online to ask for your free consultation. And until our next video, May the Lord bless and keep you and your family and be a man of courage.
be a woman of courage. Thank you so much. Y'all have a great day.